What is the simplest thing you can do to help start healing an avoidant attachment style? So an avoidant attachment style sits on the foundational belief that it is not safe to love and be loved. So this can be, I won't be able to be free and be in love. I won't be able to be safe and be in love. I won't be able to be myself and be in love. And so it's an actual nervous system move of starting to allow yourself to feel safe, to be what it is that you believe you can't be and still have the love that you desire. So as you're falling in love, becoming more attached, or even if you're in a long-term relationship, the move is to identify the story that you're always telling yourself. I can't be free and have this kind of love. I can't be myself and have this kind of love. And when you notice yourself starting to go into that story, you can actually literally hold your own nervous system and say, I can be free and have this love. I can be myself and have this love. Let your nervous system feel the truth of that. Now, if it's fundamentally not true, this is when you want to do work in your relationship. But most of the time with avoidant attachment style, you're training your nervous system to realize that it may not have been safe when you were young to love, but now it is. So you're updating your reality so that you feel more grounded and more secure and more able to give and receive the love that your soul truly craves and not to live in this cycle of fear that keeps you lonely or alienated when you really just want to connect.